Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. My bird is in the hall because I'm cooking. So thank you for the comment. And I'm just lighting one wick, you know, because of the bird. The other night I had to make a special trip for bottled water because, you know, the fluoride might kill the bird. So I hope that this is a really nice candle. If you have a TJ Maxx, try to get one. It smells so good. Okay, so um, as you know, I've been studying fashion. And I was resistant to changing my look, yes. But I decided, since I'm going back to work, I better try to pull myself together. So um, I've been studying fashion, so you might be thinking, wow, that's an evil looking shirt. Yeah, there it really is, see? See the snakes? But I liked it, it was busy. And uh, I bought this adorable dress. I will be selling this adorable dress. It's way too small for me to fit in. See, it's got the cute slit. For, and so I just really loved it. So I was at Walmart and I saw this blouse and I thought, you know what, I like it. And so I, I was looking around and so they had these uh, necklaces, you know, that are more trendy. So I thought I'll try one. And I really liked it. And I got it marked down from $18 to uh, $10. Let me show you. I thought it was quite the deal. And the earrings. Walmart. So for clothes, I'll be going to black, brown, and blue. That is it. Uh, also, the black works really good with the white sunglasses. See? Also, I have a black leather coat. So, once you get a nice black purse, some nice... I've been studying this. Okay, I put foundation on my hands. And I thought, I think my hands need concealer. So, that's some tips for you ladies. So, now... This video is... Spanish rice with Mexican meatballs and cheese, all out of the stockpile. So we want some good dinners, but we don't want to kill ourselves, and we want to use all the food in our stockpile, or if we don't have any. I like uh, tacos or Mexican food about once a week. So uh, let me show you. I've been making like some version of this meal. How do you lose your mint? Oh, here it is. Okay, so the first thing I did was I made Mexican meatballs. Here is the recipe. Okay, um, normally for your bread, you would soak it in milk. I had these leftover. I still have tons of food from HelloFresh. I didn't want to quit. It's just that the food was piling up. So I had breadcrumbs, no milk, because I used Rotel tomatoes. Or you could use salsa. Where are my Rotel tomatoes? If you stockpile the, pile these, you will always have salsa. Just pulse them a couple times in the, uh, in the blender. So I learned that from uh, TJ Preps. Go subscribe to her. Okay, so um, the butter is to, um, to cook your onions. But what I did was I found, I'm always using these, so I found a big one. 99 cent only. And then I I seasoned with seasoned salt and this garlic pepper. Uh, this and one egg beaten. And here is the recipe. And then I'm gonna make a little salad here. So um, now things get cheap because we're eating the uh, stockpile down. 
I was telling my son, I think I'll be good at real estate. And so I'll tell you why. Last night, I was up about 4.30 at night. And there was these tiny houses for sale in El Cajon City for $89,000. Like, they were like uh, an upgraded shed, you know? So this morning, I went to take a photo to send it to my son, and they were gone. And so I go, wow, you know, between this morning and 4 a.m., you know, they sold, I guess, like hotcakes. So today I was coming home from the mall, and I drove by Madison, and I saw five of them. And somebody, well, the $89,000 each. And I saw five of them in front of somebody's house. And I thought, boy, if I had a license, I would go up there and, may I ask you, uh, are your tiny houses for sale? You, normally, uh, hairdressers are not shy. So, uh, you know, it's very, very, it's very weird. First of all, to live comfortably in San Diego County you need a darn lot of money, right? And yet, I, I was, I said to my son, what in the world is someone doing with five tiny houses in the front yard? And he said, well, maybe they're gonna sell them. I go, well, yeah, but then you'd have to move out yourself, you know? I don't know. So I have an avocado that needs to be eaten. So it's a really weird time. So today I, I was in Walmart and I saw my opportunity, so I got my vaccination, and I thought, I am just going to get this over with. Mainly, I just want to make sure I can always get a passport. That's my main motivation. Or, I mean, I'm not worried about it's the mark of the beast. So if it is, I have gotten it twice. But my rationale is about this time last year, they started warning us about the COVID and China. And I thought, you know, this is kind of like last year. So I am just going to hit, and I saw my opportunity. The very same guy who gave it to me last time was in there and uh, I could get the very same vaccination. So I thought that was a plus. So now it's all water under the bridge. And most likely it's going to uh, spike. I don't know if that's going to motivate people to get the vaccination if they don't want it. But uh, I just want to make sure that I can babysit, you know. So, okay, I'll, these me so mainly for Mexican meatballs. And so I put them in my rice to kind of... Um, to kind of flavor them up more like Mexican style. Yummy, this looks pretty good, you guys. And it's cheap, too. So that's awesome. So uh, here it is. Let me show you. And then, you know, I'll probably eat some ketchup on my meatballs. I always do. So I will have some lettuce and some tomatoes and... I'll try to make it like a restaurant style. Enjoy life. Okay, life is good. And I have blue cheese dressing. Uh, I'm still on the diet, but um, not too strict. But, uh, you know, I, you notice I have no tortillas, which would be bread. And then tonight, it's, I'm trying to find uh, snacks with no sugar. So tonight, I am having um, Walmart nuts. And who knows what else? The night is young. So on this, all you need is water and one tablespoon oil. And they have good recipes on here. Uh, if you want to get the black bean, you know, if you want to go uh, vegetarian. So that might be a good idea. 
So now I want to talk to you about something. Something to keep in mind. Not get worried sick, but keep in mind. Okay, they're saying because of the fertilizer shortage, which we have all heard about. And you might be going, oh yeah, that's right. There's a fertilizer shortage. So what? Well, it turns out it could reduce the corn crop by 40%. So you might be thinking, no worries. We're, we're saving our garbage to make fertilizer, but it's not just us. It's the whole world. So, um, and a bad thing is we get one, one third of the fertilizer comes from China, but China is not exporting it at this time. So you might be thinking, no problem. I'll run down and get a couple of uh, cans, uh, cases of corn. That's a good idea. And a big bag of corn flour. That is a big idea, a good idea. But uh, what, you know, think about all the things that contain uh, corn syrup. Uh, I was telling you guys, I got low fat um, half and half and it contained corn syrup as the second ingredient. So, okay, um, so what probably is going to happen is we're going to have an increase in foods we eat all the time. Like what? Biscuits, bread, crackers, fillings, because, you know, they contain corn sugar, icings, macaroons. Now, that's a tragedy. I would say we should buy some big bags of uh, sugar. Pretzels, cookies, uh-oh, and wafers. It gets worse. Beer, uh-oh. Remember, if worse comes to worse, you can always make yeast and drink that liquid. You know, don't, don't rob a store and get yourself smothered or whatever that was ale corn whiskey bourbon and vodka so i would expect uh, increases in those so uh oh we're still what eats corn cattle beef heifers cows dairy cows and chickens so we have to expect an increase in in if we're meat eaters another bad thing ethanol it 10% of the uh, gas, so you, gasoline. So you might be thinking, I don't care. I'll just buy high grade gasoline. No, it, it goes across the board. It oxy oxygenates the, the, the fuel. So we can expect they're going to be, what they're trying to do is, is they say they're trying to re decrease pollution. So what they want to do is increase the price of cars and gasoline. But basically, maybe that's not the uh, real reason. The real reason may be that we have a coming food shortage and they want to they want to conserve all of the fuel for that. So what we probably probably be a smart thing to do is dehydrate frozen corn. It's very easy to dehydrate. Just put it in your dehydrator, you know, dry corn or your oven at 250. Okay, so what we have also going on at the same time is an anti-meat eating thing. Why? Well, because cattle, beef heifers, cows, and dairy cows all eat corn and people. So you have to say, are they going to let the people starve or are they going to let the animals starve? Also, this garbage collection is worrisome. Or are the people going to be eating, you know, like this... Uh, what is this water that's like sewage? No. Okay, so what we're doing is we're watching for a possible famine and a market crash. Okay, I am not gar I am not gardening because that takes water and that costs money and the amount of food I generated, the cost of the water and everything and energy far exceeded the benefit, but I will hoard a buttload of seeds just in case as soon as they come out. Now for months and months, I guess you could get them if you, uh, so, you know, not to be like chicken little, but uh, say to ourselves, okay, uh, I just want to prepare for the worst. I want to prepare for a really bad surge 
in the and they're and they're blaming everything on the supply chain they're blaming on everything but part of the problem is unvaccinated truckers from mexico we get a lot of food from mexico and canada so are basically um like china cutting exports so uh you know it reminded me, I was getting ready and I thought, wow, this is a bad thought. Okay, you know, the 10 wise virgins and the 10 foolish virgins. And I always thought, you know, I don't understand that story because the unwise virgins didn't have any oil for the lamps. But why couldn't both of us use the oil and go to the bridegroom, you know, to create light so we could all get there, right? Why those are some selfish um some selfish brides who want to marry her let's replace oil with food do you have any toilet paper These are all the bits and scraps. I'm saving every bit and scrap of toilet paper. And I showed you guys the list. First, you know, not panic buying. That's counterproductive because if you spend too much money and, and like my son and I were talking, you know, you get down the road and you go, wow, this is totally unexpected. So this is like the third or fourth wave of a little bit different variant part of it is like this worldwide uh it's like the whole world and so in comes all of the disease from the whole whole world but i just want to mention again alexander the great protected his army by putting vinegar in the drinking water so the smart thing to do well for now the smart thing to do is kind of a sequester as much as you can until this one blows over. Okay, so as of last, it started around Christmas and by March they closed everything down. So uh, maybe that's to be expected again. I hope not, who's to know? We have to just be careful. But like in my case, if anybody gets the COVID, then they can come over here because I have been vaccinated. So, at my, you know, if there's a household with more people and one person gets a COVID and then, you know, there's a place where the person's been vaccinated, the, the whole family is pretty much safer. I really didn't want to get vaccinated, but, uh, you know, I spent many years in healthcare, and I thought to myself, I am, I forget if I'm 66 or 67. I do not want to present to the hospital. I had a bad scare a couple of years ago. I do not want to. Uh, I do not want to present to the hospital unvaccinated. Furthermore, if you do have to go to the hospital, you're going to be waiting hours and hours and hours because they're jam packed out here. That's not good. Okay, you guys. So I'll be working on my look. I, you know what, I hate to admit this, I think I look better, you know what I'm saying? So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.